Today we're at our friend's house, Cessna and Sebastian. They just bought a property out in Mount Nebo, West Virginia, with an Irva Gorge. And we're gonna be helping them start building a giant climbing structure in their backyard. Here's Sebastian digging a nice looking trench to run some electrical over to it. We chose to laminate a bunch of two by sixes together to give us our posts for this structure. Uh, laminating together also allowed us to have this half lap joint. That allowed us to not have to handle 20 foot six by six beams. Put some gravel in the holes, popped them all in there, ran bracing all the way around it. And here we have the Cushlin 600DD cement mixer. I've used this thing, rented it from Home Depot two times and really loved it. It's a robust style like wheelbarrow mixer. We moved out here to West Virginia and there was nowhere to rent one. I found it on Zorro for about $700, got it shipped right to us. This mixer handles six cubic feet, uh, which ended up being about three 80 pound bags. You can do four, but it's just harder to mix afterwards. And here we have our local inspection cat giving us the tail wag of approval. And here we go again with the tail wag and we're all ready to pour. is awesome. You can see how fast we just plowed through all these footings. About five bags of concrete went into each of those as well. And this structure is eventually going to be an indoor rock climbing gym at Cessna and Sebastian's place. You can find them on Instagram at Hickory Hideout. Keep up with the build of this thing. And here's a second day. Inspection cat, making sure everything's going well. This mixer will also unload the cement for you. Just turn it on as you tip it. Learned that for the first time on this project. And there you have it. Bunch of footings poured. Took us two days and this mixer was awesome. Yeah, thanks for watching.